Hey guys, what's up? Yes, it is Tuesday, the 28th of January. It is 4.34. I just got in the door literally about 25 minutes, 24, 25 minutes ago. Uh, the reason being is originally I was supposed to have gotten off 24 minutes ago, period, actually. Well, actually, not 24, but 34 minutes ago. I was actually supposed to get off 34 minutes ago. Uh, what happened, long story short, my bus, one of the buses I take uh, to get to work is the 9.15 bus, the 9.15 a.m. bus. And basically, when I took the bus, we went to Patterson, I switched buses because the 9.15 and the 11 o'clock bus that I take to work, depending on my schedule, uh, I have to switch buses because the drivers are going on the breaks or the lunches. So, uh, mostly the lunches. So, basically, long story short, the only bus that I don't have to switch off of, but I do have to get off because it's a rule, you know, passengers have to get off, get on, you know, get off buses and then get back on them, is the 731. So, again, long story short, uh, basically, when I took the 915 uh, route, which, again, where I had to switch buses, uh, as soon as the bus dropped me off at my job, I went inside, and usually what I do when I have to take the 915 bus uh, re lately on Tuesdays, and I have to wait basically an hour and a half, I usually get some breakfast, I usually do a, a video that I upload, that I record with my camera and upload while I'm working, or... I do a live stream like I did yesterday. Well, what happened today is I went in there and one of my customer service managers, my CSMs, uh, saw me and they said, Brian, would you like to start right now? They asked me what time I came in. I said I come in in about an hour and a half. They said, basically, they asked if I would like to come in right then and there. I said, yeah. Then, then they told me just go to the back, clock in. Um, override it under whatever assistant manager or store manager basically basically they told me to clock in and put it under either the front end assistant manager or our store manager's name so it could be approved and that's what I did thus I started at 10 10 instead of 11 30 10 10 a.m. instead of 11 30 a.m. and because we can't go beyond our fifth hours I was able to clock out around 3.09 p.m., 3.10 p.m., thus I was able to get off early, and they completely understood. Uh, they even wanted me to stay until my time, but the thought was, well, if I stay until my time and I take a half-hour lunch, what sense does that really make? Because I would take my half-hour lunch like around, what, 2, 2.30? You know, what sense does that make to have me for an additional hour? Well, it might be dead, and you'll have plenty of people, and that's what happened. It turned out we were kind of, we were slowing down, but not too much, and there were plenty of people coming in. The only reason I was asked to come in early was because two people called out, and um, that's about it. So anyway, anyway, um, I decided, you know, since I got home early, uh, I would do this package opening because today, of course, I got the package from Frank Hill. Originally, it was scheduled to come yesterday. But something happened that delayed it about by a day from, you know, coming, you know, coming to my home. So basically, I waited till today. Uh, basically, they ba basically what happened is delay the delay waited until uh, today to get it here. I'm sorry if I'm mumbling a little bit. I did work, like I mentioned. But yeah, basically. Uh, Frank's package to me was supposed to originally come yesterday. There was a bit of a snag, a delay, and it didn't show up until today, which actually works out very well. Which actually works out very well because basically, if it would have came yesterday, I would have had to get out of the car with my mom, before my mom, to get the package before she saw it. Uh, because she's always curious as to what gets sent, you know, my way. And I have a history of her wanting to know sometimes what I got. And sometimes she's not approving of some things. And, of course, one of those things that I taught... For example, I should say, 
Um, a friend online, a friend online sent me a package just like Frank does at times. And one of the things he sent me, and I'm very grateful for this, unfortunately I could not keep it, was Dungeons and Dragons, the complete animated series from the 1980s. Uh, my mom being a prayer warrior and being religious as more so than I think anybody you'll meet, and that's a good thing, a really good thing, um, was not in favor of me having that cartoon. So, you know, because of all the stories she heard about it, and, you know, back in the past. So, I basically had to end up getting rid of it. And again, I'm not, and again, I'm very grateful that you know, this friend of mine sent it my way and, you know, thought I could use it as part of my collection or have it as part of my collection. But again, you know, when you have family and those family members of prayer warriors, very religious uh, people, which is a good thing, sometimes things, certain things are good and sometimes certain things are not, you know. But maybe down the line I might get the series back in my collection, but I have to do it um, probably without her knowing you know, um, but we'll have to wait and see if that day comes. Um, but anyway, though, and again, I'm grateful for that being sent my way at that time, several years back when I was still living in Patterson. Um, but anyway, though, like I said, the uh, package that Frank sent me recently, the newest one, was supposed to come yesterday, but a delay caused it to come today, which is actually beneficial because I could do the package opening without interruption and without my mom wondering, okay, what did you get uh, this time? Because when I got my latest, um, uh, do, uh, my, my latest characterized body pillows, my dakamakuras, as they call them in Japan, uh, she was kind of curious as to what was in the package, and I had to play it off as if it was a t-shirt or something like that. So, you know, because, you know, I don't know what it is with my mom, you know, and, you know, I think it's a heretical thing that, you know, she's got to know, you know, certain things. Not that that's a bad thing. Not that that's a bad thing, uh, if you will. But still, it's like, you know, you got to, it's like she's the, she's like one of those people out there in your family that's got to know what's going on or what you know what's going on with you with you and you know what did you order what did you get that da, da, da and again not that that's a bad thing sometimes not that that's a bad thing god but still uh, anyway though let's without further ado and this is a hefty one let's see what frank hill sent me uh today and as you can tell i'm gonna try to hide the address some somehow um anyway it says expected delivery day the 27th which was yesterday that did not happen so it came today so i'm guessing there was like i said issues that caused it to uh be delayed but anyway without further ado let's see what frank sent me this time and why is it so freaking heavy This. Come on, babe. Uh, gonna need my knife for this, or my utility knife. Then I uh, take to work. I might have another package opening uh, this week, depending on how fast it gets here, because it's coming from Las Vegas. It's, uh, I'll put it this way, it's Super Bowl related, and I got it directly from the NFL uh, shop, so... Okay, baby. Okay. Now we're getting here. We're getting somewhere. There we go. At that side. And it did get a little damaged, uh, Frank. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, it got a little damaged. I don't know how that happened. I'm thinking that's what caused the delay. And Frank actually messaged me a picture of it sitting on his uh, apartment or his house on the floor in his house or in his home. So I know I already knew it was going to be pretty big. 
So let's see what Frank sent me this time, shall we? Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff all wrapped up. Oh man, it's all wrapped up. Gift wrapped in and everything. Thank you, Frank, for that. So um, let's uh, let's take a look at the back. In fact, you can even see what what he did here. I'll show you that right there. He kind of did what I did with Zeranizarak at one point, except for the gift wrap deal. So we got, it sounds like a couple of figures, some movies. So let's take a look at the first gray bag here. And again, this is why um, I, I said it was, and, and again, this is why I basically say that it's beneficial I got it today because I would have had to wait until today anyway to open it depending on what, how I got home and how long it would have taken my mom to get home. As a matter of fact, what time is it right now? It's uh, 4.45. So she just left her job like moments ago, I'm assuming. Uh, the way my mom leaves, the way my mom leaves sometimes from the house to her job, and I'm assuming from her job to the house, uh, she takes about three to five minutes. Sometimes she'll leave right away, but sometimes it's like three to five minutes because she wants to make sure she didn't leave anything behind, she didn't forget anything, and that she's got every, you know, that's, you know, basically like I said, she, she wants to make sure she didn't leave nothing behind, like if she doesn't have to come back in the house or go back into school and make sure, you know, you know, make sure she got, make sure she didn't leave anything, you know, uh, behind, if you will. That's what I'm trying to say. Excuse me while I get some coffee here. But yeah, basically she wants to always make sure, like I said, that she didn't leave anything behind and she's got everything situated before she leaves. So that takes her about three to five minutes or else she'll just leave right away. Uh, depending on, you know, the situation, like if she's running late or something. So anyway, let's take a look at the uh, first bag here. And I'm sorry if I rambled there, but you kind of get what I'm saying. The first thing we got is this great package and it's a Walmart bag. So let's see what's in this bag. We have, oh, nice. We got Dragon's Lair. We got the Dragon's Lair 3DS game. I'm assuming it's the whole thing. It looks like it is. It's kind of like what you play on the uh, Xbox. I do have the game on the Xbox 360, by the way. So thank you very much for this, Frank. Going to enjoy playing down on the road. Uh, next up, we have a book. Oh, how about that? It is... Oh, cool. It's a novelization of DuckTales Cinestory comic. Uh, these Cinestory comics are basically like um, frames on a page. They basically like take screenshots and put them on there and put them in comic form. That's pretty cool. Thank you. And it's the Woohoo. It's the uh, first one. So thank you very much for that. And I am, just to let you guys know, I am going to check out the third season, specifically when we get to the uh, Disney Afternoon characters. I, I gotta watch those. I gotta watch those. So thank you very much for that. We've got DuckTales, woohoo. Next up, let's see what we have. We have a Blu-ray. Oh, cool. This is actually a pretty good movie. We have Mel Gibson, Signs. This is actually pretty nice. So, yeah, it's actually a good movie, I think, this one. PG-13. So, yeah, it's actually pretty, I don't, me, I don't have this movie, actually, my family doesn't have it, so, yeah, pretty nice, pretty cool, signs, like that, thank you very much for that, and the last thing's a DVD, and it is, oh, cool, uh, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, I think I may have, I don't know, did I buy this one at one point, I don't know, but, uh, if I didn't, thank you very much, Frank, for the copy, very, very appreciative of that. So yeah, we have DuckTales, Woohoo, Cine Story Comic, Dragon Slayer, Nintendo DS, the Blu-ray of Signs, and we have uh, your good man, Charlie Brown. So, pretty cool. Thank you, Frank, for that. And again, I do apologize if I sound like I was rambling a little bit. What I was trying to say earlier is... Uh, seeing the time right now, it takes my mom about 45 to 50 minutes, maybe an hour to get home, traffic depending, because she's got to come from Livermore over what we call, and then she has to go across what we call the Altamont, which is kind of like a hilly area on the freeway, to get into the Central Valley, or at least the beginning peaks of the Central Valley. And uh, basically, like I said, she takes about 
if she takes about three to five minutes at times, depending if she just doesn't leave right away, like she does at home when she heads to work or heads to church, um, and she should be around here by at least 5.30, maybe 5.45. Uh, when she picks me up on Monday, she usually gets to my job about a little after 6. So I kind of calculate that, okay, if it's 45 minutes to 50 minutes, then obviously she left about, I would say, 5, 540 at least. Because, again, she wants to make sure she's got everything. She's not leaving nothing behind. She's situated and all that. So... I got plenty of time before she gets home. Anyway, next thing up, we have another bag. It looks like we got some pen dispensers in here, it feels like. I could be wrong. Another Walmart bag, and we have, oh, more ponies. Well, thank you very much for this. We have a Pinkie Pie pen dispenser. Pretty cool. We actually sold these at my job at one point, so I'm guessing that's where he got them. We have Rainbow Dash, pretty nice. And the last one is Twilight. We have Twilight here. Thank you very much for that, Frank. And I think we have a note here. Enjoy, take care from its Frank Frank Hill. Thank you very much, Frank. I will enjoy these. These are going in the collection just like the Sonic one did. Um, and that's the note he gave me right there. These are going to go into collection just like the Sonic one did. Okay, so we have the wrap stuff right here. We'll get into that in a moment. Put that right there. And we have more bag. The more bag, excuse me. There. We have another Walmart bag here. And this one, we have... What do we have here? We have... Oh, cool. We have the Prelude comic to Avengers Infinity War. So basically, these are events that take place before Infinity War. I would assume all the movies in this Marvel Cinematic Universe are the prelude, if you know what I mean. But it looks like um, this could be a bit of a recap or something. I'm not really sure. It might just, but again, it might just be events that take place before that you can only get in the comic. Alright, next up we have... Oh. oh, what's this? The official movie special. Oh, behind the scenes kind of deal. Yeah, I think we've had something like this in my job. I just didn't see it. But it's the official Avengers Infinity War, the main event, the official movie special. Thank you very much for this, Frank. So, yeah, it gives you, um, yeah, it basically gives you everybody the Spider-Man, Scarlet Witch, Black Panther, you know, pretty cool Captain America. Oh, yeah, really nice. Really nice. Going to enjoy looking at that. And then the next one we have... Oh, <laughs> speaking of uh, uh, official movie specials, we have the movie special of Avengers Endgame. This is the one that connects with uh, the latest movie. And I think it just came out on Disney+. Plus. So, really nice. Really nice. So I definitely got both here. Really appreciate that. I got a nice shot of Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, Brie Larson right there, so really nice, thank you. So thank you very much for this, Frank, really going to enjoy uh, reading this uh, down the line. Alright, so we got a few more books to go. We have another one, this is actually in the Books A Million bag, Joe Muggs Coffee, shop online at Books A Million. I think that's where probably where you're located at. And it's probably located where you're at, right? I would assume. So let's see what's in here. First one, and it says it right there, books a million. So let's see what's in here. We have... Oh, how about that? Wonder Woman 77 graphic novel. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you. Okay, in case you guys don't know what this is, uh, DC has been doing a lot of... Um, comic books based on their classic 60s and 70s television shows. So you have Batman 66 and they're following that up with Wonder Woman 77 which had Linda Carter. Very good show and I do have the complete series on that. 
So, really nice. Thank you very much for this, Frank. I'm going to enjoy reading that. I enjoy reading it. And then next up, let's see what we have here. Oh, we have another one. We have Wonder Woman 77 again. And this is, uh, what is this? This is uh, Volume 2. How about that? So we have Wonder Woman 77. And again, this is Linda Carter. She played Wonder Woman. She was basically, to a lot of little girls, including my older sister, she was and is Wonder Woman. Not saying Gaia isn't doing a good job, but this is like definitive Wonder Woman to a lot of little girls that grew up at that time. And then last but not least, Oh, how about this? Wonder Woman, the origin story. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, I see what this is. This is based on the Wonder Woman movie. The animated the animated movie that came out uh, several years back. And it follows up on a lot of things. Well, it's kind of based on that a little bit, so... But it's an origin story done in the uh, DC ori DC animated uh, DC original animated movie style. So pretty cool. A lot of Wonder Woman here. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. You can't get enough. You can. Oh, what's, what's in here? Something's in here. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> uh. I think you uh, left a receipt in here. Look into that in a moment. Yeah, you left a receipt in there, Frank. <laughs> Sorry. All right, last but not least, uh, I know what this looks like. Looks like something I will enjoy. We have, and this is the last bag that is, we have Meet Sonic Book. Okay, so we have a Meet Sonic Book. Has some stickers in there. Obviously, this was released around Sonic X. Pretty cool. So yeah, we've got a Meet Sonic book, and again, you got like some stickers in there and and stuff. It's pretty nice, pretty cool. Thank you very much for that, Frank. Thank, really appreciate it. And then the last thing we have, Sonic Universe Journey to the East. Oh, cool. Okay, in case you guys don't know what this one is, this is a collection of the Sonic Universe books that okay so Sonic Universe was a spin-off comic that Archie Comics did that Ian Flynn got behind and Journey to the East was a subplot that for four issues released through four issues four months took place between issues 210 and 212 basically that's it it's like to barely an issue barely two issues this took place in this took place in and it was basically Sonic, Tails, Sally and Monkey Con. So yeah this basically took place between the issues of 210 and 211 basically. It's like at the end of 210 I think is that they take off to the east to kind of find a way to defeat the Iron Queen and her crew from a behind the scenes perspective. And then at the end, it actually it was 209. No, was it 209? Yeah, it was 209. It was 209 they did that. And then at the end of 210, they came back. And then 211 is when things wrapped up. So it was barely like, this was supposed to span basically the end of one main story in one issue and conclude with them returning at the end of the next issue. Four month issue story, or four month story, four issues that ended within the span of a month. And that was the one problem about Archie Comics when they had the Sonic license, is they ended up always spoiling what was going to happen before a spin-off like this could really give us a proper conclusion. So, but thank you very much for this, Frank. Really appreciate it. And last but not least, we have this wrapped up. So I guess like it'll be late at Christmas present. So we're going to see what this is. Feels like a bunch of movies. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay. Okay, so... Alright. I believe Frank, a long time ago, sent me Perfect Strangers Season 1. 
Sorry about that. Now, he sent me the entire series, it looks like. So we have the third, we have the fourth, we have the fifth, we have the sixth, and we have the seventh and final season. So yeah, he sent me basically the first two seasons, and now he's finished the job by sending me the rest of them. So thank you very much for that. I know my mom's going to enjoy this because, you know, she... Here's the thing, Perfect Strangers, basically, if you know what Family Matters is, that's how Family Matters got started, because of this show. Harriet Winslow... Uh, or in it originated from this series. So thank you very much for that, Frank. But yeah, that's pretty much about it, guys. Um, really appreciate all the stuff here, Frank. Uh, you know, really appreciate it. You know, from the pen, the MLP pen dispensers, the Ducktail Sinistory, woohoo, uh, the Science Blue Way, the Yoga and Man Charlie Brown, to the various books from Sonic Universe, Wonder Woman. And, you know, really appreciate it. The Avengers stuff, really appreciate it, Frank. Thank you very much. And I can, I guess that's about it, guys. So, uh, thank you again, Frank, for the package. And thank you all for watching. Let me know what you all thought down below. Comment if you like. I got to clean up this mess a little bit. And I am out. Thank you, Frank, and have a good night, guys.